all this is. How can we find a way forward where we see we can hold the people accountable who took the money? We can see we can investigate what is right, right? And we can ask government, please, government, come help us because who is speaking the truth? That's why today I was in a meeting with MFC. I said, MFC, we have time. Come here, address the people. I know we've been engaging with you. Address the people so they can see actually we are working, talking to the right people in government. MFC. The guy. Yeah. Um, just a short one. I got on the dress of amazing because I keep my tattoo on a king again. So, you want to make a man or a king? So that the phone number is a little bit of a more than a little bit of 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 a little is the, I think it's the Ramakrishna Mandir of Extension 9 on uh, the R554 and we are here in um, the farm across it where there appears to be all these newly built shacks and you can see it's become quite formalized it's not just installed in an ad hoc fashion. There's actually now roads um, crisscrossing through the settlement here. And you'll notice even house numbers or shack numbers are painted on some of the shacks to depict, you know, where they're located or addresses if you want to call it that. So there's even, there's even de facto roads created here in the in the settlement here across extension 9 and it all looks very formalized um, seems to be quite well built also a lot of these shacks they're not just uh, done in an ad hoc fashion and so we are uh, with um, a meeting that's occurring between the residents of the settlement and the MMC Amit Tapello I think it's the MMC for infrastructure, if I'm not mistaken, in the city of Johannesburg. And of course, Adil Suj is here. He's been an activist on this matter, as well as Councillor Imran Musa, Ward 9 Councillor Imran Musa. Um, so, can I take? If, if there's anyone who needs clarity, the first round I'll take five hands and then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Amanda! Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. We're going to come to Sanga, so it's not going to control the image. Oh, yeah, control the image. Can you feel that? No, sorry. Thank you very much. Amanda, come on. Thank you. I'm going to come to Sanga, and I'm going to come to Sanga, and I'm going to come to Sanga, and i as our Taliba Sipati. So, let me let it be free. Let's get around the Matoa. As I did, I don't do that. So, as I did, please let's all be free. Or recafe out to whatever Elohim is on for the world. So, Rolibella Emily Emu, irrespective of now, our Ponu was the attack. Can an Ali Mukuna for no grass so to possibly listen to looking at our multilingual MCA. So, if you put a look at the Whatever you are to consent as a party, you on the table, I know hopefully, you can work out. So, you can work out, you can work out, you can work out, you can You are noted, my leader. Oh, okay. Comrade number two. 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 Comrade number three. Ntatem Ntatem number four. And then six is it okay? Okay, six. Okay. Let me make money. Okay, no, it's fine. So, okay, I'm going to put it. Okay, I'm going to put it. Okay, I'm
don't have water as as a resident. We're using this tank. And they are not enough to so water the other one. Down there they don't have water, which which will be enough for them. Number three. The government promised us that there will be a number. There will be a number in the field. But that's not happening. The reason being they are saying because there are old people who are staying down there after the trees who need to be given, given stands. Once they have stands, then the government will be able to number them. And then the problem is where do you locate sites for them? About 20 people or 25 people. Now, SSMMC, I think, it will be able to help us. Now, one other thing some people were saying there is a line the other side. But apparently, the other side, I think the land is the chicken. And then Maybe if there are negotiations where possible, so that the 20 people maybe they can extend the bit so that the trend can be covered. Now, if they are covered, it means everybody is located, then we'll be able to be numbered. Because uh, at the moment, people, their children, they want to take children to school, but they don't have proper addresses. But that can happen only when we are numbered properly. That's where we want to assist as, as government. But how do we assist these people to be ritually uh, settling well? Receiving services from government. Some of them they've been here for 20 years, 30 years. Yeah, but that's, that's the general problem. Now and then, when we wake up, people will try that we'll be evicted tomorrow. Hey, police are coming tomorrow, we'll be evicted. And people are not happy. They don't sleep well, you see, because they are threatened every day. So that's something that we want to be. People must have guaranteed that they have their homes, they are here to, to live with their children. You can see their children there. Yeah. The last time, uh, somewhere in July, there was an application. Uh, 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 of eviction from the city of Johannesburg. What has happened, this community has to uh, ask a lawyer, Mr. Madigan, to come in and defend that application. We went to court on the 14th of October. Then the city withdrew. So we thought after withdrawal, then we will get all the same, everything will be fine. But still today, we are threatened by eviction. We don't even know where it comes from. Just hearsay. So maybe that's why you can clarify us so this community can be really happy about that. Be inside your world. That's, that's my comment. Amanda Comrade. Hey Comrade Malala ka go di cover pa ka o fela jwa le ke ka go letsa port 546 but anyway. And I see my MMC is not recording. Oh, no I'm recording. Oh, you are recording. Okay. Recording. Okay. Uh, can you take the other one or oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, babu. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Comrade. Amanda Comrade. Now we two. Uh, I've got one problem here my man. Who's owning this land? As far as I'm concerned, when I'm reading the papers, this land is, is for city of Johannesburg. But now, there are guys who are saying the land is theirs. So I want you to clarify who's owning this land today. Because someone can say he's owning the land, he's calling the evictions, while he doesn't have any paper. That's what I want you to answer us. Okay. okay. The third one was a Babunyambos, isn't it? Okay. Or says Baninga Kulu, MMC. It says Baninga Kulu, too. No, no, get, get two. No, I can get three. What I yeah, get six, three. Yes, yeah. get three. Oh. Get four, get five. All right, all right. Yes. Okay, can I get the numbers? Yeah. As of now, I feel powerless. Moba. There's no difference between me and the homeless man. But it's not my place. Because I have nothing to prove. I don't even have an address. So my problem is, I want to look for a school for my kids. But what do I give them? Where do I live? Under the bridge? How does it go? So as you are here, can you please try and help us, if you can, so we can have ownership of whatever things we have here.